Manila is a city of approximately 12 million people. Around 33% of these people live below the poverty line and are either homeless or at risk. Around 11% of this number are children. Bajo Tuluyan was founded in 1987 specifically to work with these at-risk children. Starting as a drop-in centre based in the red light area of Malate in Manila, Bajo Tuluyan has grown to now having three centres. A residential and vocational training centre in Victoria in the province of Laguna, a residential home, training centre and organic farm in San Antonio in the province of Quezon, and a crisis and drop-in centre in Santa Mesa in Manila. Through this growth, Bajo Tuluyan has maintained the same vision. To work towards a society where every child's rights are respected, protected and fulfilled. <laughs> Believing that children should be participants in helping themselves and be active in claiming their own rights, Bajo Tuluyan provides a number of social services to enable this vision including long and short-term housing, feeding programs, formal and alternative education, incorporating peer-to-peer -peer learning, a technique pioneered in the Philippines by Baha Tuluyan, scholarships, counselling and case management, legal and medical assistance, networking and advocacy, and vocational training. One of the newest projects is an internet cafe managed and run by the girls in residence at the Victoria Centre. The cafe also provides an outlet for the girls to sell the handicrafts which they make. My name is Sarina Cultura. 30 years old. I like to buy to do it. Yes. Good. I want to be a teacher. The alternative education program is based upon the belief in the capabilities of children to help themselves. Baja Tuluyan employs a child to child approach to provide empowerment training for children and young people. Graduates are given opportunities to further pass knowledge to others through the mobile unit or through their own initiatives. Staffed by graduates of the Alternative Education Program and along with one of Baha Tuluyan's social workers, the mobile unit visits six sites around Manila each week. Using a specially equipped van called the ICOT Star, the mobile unit visits children providing education on child rights, some basic feeding and case management services. PILAC is an example of graduates initiating their own advocacy program. With some help from Baha Tuluyan staff, PILAC has developed advocacy in a variety of ways, including through a youth theatre program that investigates issues relevant to the rights of children. It is the aim of Baha Tuluyan to enable more groups to develop from among their graduates that will go on to advocate for the rights of children and others, and in so doing, realise the vision of every child's right to be respected, protected and fulfilled. My name is Joy Gosha. I am 16 years old. I have been here for three years and a half. So ako sa bahay tuluyan at tinutulungan nila ako. Um, tapos nakapag-aral pa ako dito ng maayos. Masaya ako kasi naandito ako. Uh, marami na akong kaibigan, wala na nangaawit sa akin, parang wala na nang apit. Tinutulungan, may tumutulong, tinutulungan pa ako ng bahay to do yan, katulad din ng mga ibang bata. Marami din sila natutulungan. Um, I want to do some job like businesswoman, yeah, and engineer. Engineering? That's it. And help my mother and father and my family. So that's it.